Given all that he has left To buy just one more day Wishing he could take it back With his life he'll pay It's been like what six years since the last record or so? Yeah, it's been a while, man. Um, yeah, you know, I I've, I've had to to release the album, you know, the last album, and play a little bit. And also, I um, you know I was looking for new players because our drummer uh, moved to North Carolina, and the bass player uh, got a gig, you know, with Chris Cornell at, at oh, the time, nice and. Uh, You know, I, I met this guy named uh, Ben White mm -hmm. uh, from uh, the East Coast. He's based in LA, and uh, he came through. Man, he really showed that he wanted to play that music and learn the old stuff really well. So, and then I met this other cat named um, Jerry Rowe from Nashville, which was in LA then. And uh, I just started to to share the new material with these guys, and mm -hmm. we recorded the album at the end of. Uh, 2011 and I got a gig you know and I yeah. had to leave for the first half of uh, 2012 then I came back I did uh, a season of the voice right, right. and uh, at the beginning of 2013 I came back did another season of the voice and then I I went to play in Brazil at the final I know that, that was big 70,000 people so, cheering yeah. so that was It was amazing, you know, to be playing by myself at a big stadium, one of the uh, World Cup stadiums. We're not, we're not going to get into the World Cup, you know, the German <laughs> thing right here. But anyway, um, I um, I did some tracking, you know, in Barcelona with Shakira. Anyway, I was busy, you know, and yeah, I came yeah. back in 2014 and I got called to do Idol, American Idol. Right. And I went in to, to do the show. And then once I was done with that, I, start, I started to... to to do all the rhythm tracks on the on the album, you know, mm -hmm. all the rhythm guitar tracks. Once I was done with that, I started to to do vocals and had to cut it myself. Um, this year, again, I did Idol the, uh, early on, and, and once I was done with that, I just started to play guitars, you know, like solos and stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's been kind of tough to to finish the album, you know. Yeah, it must be tough. You're doing like pretty much everything yourself, except the drums and bass, you know. That's pretty much, you know. I uh, I, I wasn't in the, the engineer on, on the live session. It was Alfonso uh, Rodenas, which is a friend and a good engineer. I had a couple guys coming in, Mugi Canasio, and, um, and just to do some acoustic stuff. But most of the time, 95% of the time, I've been kind of engineering myself and producing yeah. on top of it. It's, it's a lot of work. of time and the sun Black gold at the point of the gun Drew holes in the earth and beat her dry Turn it on and go for a drive Oi, so Death Race, that's the new title, isn't it? Pretty intense. It's 
Yeah, sounds like it. I mean, it is and it isn't. I mean, it is in a sense that we're talking about the environment right. and how much we're speeding up to, you know, to the end. We're using resources. We're not thinking about, you know, a lot of the stuff that we're, we're doing to the planet. But, you know, it's yeah. to create awareness. You know, I mean, you know, if you have a voice, why not speak about something that matters, you know? about maybe of some of the specific lyrics yeah you know this album has a lot of different titles different kind of things going on and it's not a uh, one title one kind of thing you know there's yeah. seven folds about a kid that grows up in a very tough environment no that, that's what I want to ask you maybe the yeah. sevenfold I didn't bring my spam tab sandwich but <laughs> why is it sevenfold I mean why is well, it not fivefold <laughs> well you, you can't you can't get a, a standard uh, piece of paper you know, like a fax or, you know, something like that. You can't fold it, I think it's seven times. You can't physically okay. fold it, meaning this guy is never going to make it in life. You know, he's from the get-go, he's already uh, making mistakes, you know. He doesn't have anybody to sort of guide him through life, and, and that's it. You know, he's going to go, you know, he's going to be put out by the system. Mm -hmm. So that's a different kind of topic right there. I stood in line all day today just to find out I didn't get the job. The job wasn't mine. I went and met with my friends to kill some time, have some. There's a song called Ordinary People. You know, I feel like with the, with the advancements, you know, like the advance of the internet and technology, we became a little closer to each other, you know? Oh, yeah? Y yeah, you don't see people, but you know, people are more, you see people like being normal people, ordinary people, like everybody's on the internet, you know? It's like... Uh, everyone has their own TV channel, kind of, is that Yeah, what you it's yeah. like, you know, and, and, and it's like, yeah, I would still pay a ticket to go see people I love, you know, the music I love. Mm. But uh, at the end of the day, we're all the same. You know, mm. we're all standing in line, we all cry, we all be happy, and, mm. you know what I mean? So so that was a, a fun, fun lyric to work on and just to be able to reach to people that were I've been
great song, Beautiful Memories, on that new record. You want to talk a little bit about that? Oh uh, man, that's a tune that you know I wrote after I uh, felt let down by by some friends, and you know it's just not a big deal for me, but you know it's kind of like it's a, it's a good thing to put it in paper, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, and see it become a, a tune mm -hmm. on your next album. So like, therapy. Yeah, kind of. I mean, it's like you know it's, it means something. You mm -hmm. know, when I sing the song, that's what I remember. You know, mm -hmm. but it's more mostly to just. Um, let it all go yeah. and, and kind of uh, taking the, the high road, you know. What's technically like, what's the, what's the equipment you kind of used on this record mainly? You know, man, I kept it very simple. I used uh, the same amp that I have used for all these years and, and that I have recorded in, in both of my previous records, you know, the Shiva. Mm -hmm. and, um, I wanted to keep it simple, you know, like I produced it myself, I had to do my vocals myself and I just wanted to keep it simple, mm -hmm. you know, just straight into the amp mm -hmm. and that's it. This Shiva amp has, has a very clean distortion, it's, it's not a super gain, like high gain amp, so so you hear the chords, you know, yeah, it's yeah. like it's you hear each note, which is really cool for me. and. Uh, and on the solos, I just added a tube screamer. Mm -hmm. That's it, man. Mm -hmm. Simple. Um, old school. Yeah, old school, man. Just added that extra yeah. gain. And and I ran, you know, two mics, uh, two 57s, one close to the, 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 the speaker, one a little uh, far. I did use a, a Bogner 412 with vintage 30 speakers. Okay. And um, anyway, uh, two 57s, one a little further, one a little close into the two B BAE Neves, you know, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, 1273s. And that's it for the rhythms. The, yeah. the solos, I, I just swapped um, a 57 and put an SM7, which I did all my vocals oh, with. Oh, okay, yeah. And Better uh, lows. Yeah, just close, both close, mm -hmm. kind of like the same volume. Mm -hmm. And um, that's it, that's how I cut the solos. I wanted to keep it simple because um, it's just a lot of work. It's a lot of, lot, lot, lot. I was wearing a lot of hats on the album, so I just wanted to get it done and, and, and let the, the song speak for itself. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, as far as guitars, man, I just played my last balls. Yeah. You know, my 59 uh, custom shop, half step down. I uh, used a 1960 reissue with a rear tuning, man, for a couple of songs. Psh, don't do <laughs> Well, it's okay. I, I do, I, it's, it's E flat. Uh, and then I do from the high to up. It's um, uh, D flat, uh, A flat, uh, E flat, D flat, A flat, drop D flat, oh, wow. and um, that's one tuning. The other one is my my main magnetical tune tuning, which is um, E B G D, mm -hmm. low F sharp and low B. Mm -hmm. So that was a gold, I used a gold top for the rhythms. And the solos, I just had a, a variety of guitars, mostly Les Pauls, but I also used a PRS uh, custom with the Floyd Rose. I just mm -hmm. wanted to, to use a whammy bar. Right. And uh, that was fun. And uh, I used some acoustic guitars. I used a 12 string Gibson songwriter. I used um, a J45 and a Dove. Mm -hmm. Stereo for for a song, and I used a uh, Gibson Les Paul baritone. Simple stuff, you know, yeah. and um, not a lot of uh, different things. I used my my double neck too, which was a lot of fun. And, uh, but kept it kept it very simple, just one amp, yeah. one cabinet. Hafa, tell me, what, what do you see yourself in the future? Oh man, that's a that's a, that's a hard question. Uh, you know, man, I just want to keep creating music, you know? I want to keep releasing music and, and uh, reaching out to people out there, you know? And hopefully doing way more shows, you know? Mm -hmm. That's that's my, my goal in life, too. It's a lot of live gigs coming up, you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah there's a lot of, lot of gigs in the works and hopefully I'll be coming to, to, to your towns and, and countries out there. That's right, yeah. yeah. Big world out there. I can't wait. Yeah. 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 Hafa, any words of wisdom to the German soccer team from the Brazilian perspective? Yeah, just fucking watch your asses next time. What? This is over.